Just one, the crit one shots them. Oh my gosh, get out of here. If I were him, I'm, I'm really mad. I am fuming. Getting critted turn one. Oh, that's bad. Sucks to be you, bud. Earth power, I eat that pretty well. What is up, everybody? Back with some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Regulation G V G C. Zamazenta is legal with the Regulation G rule set. This is actually another restricted that I have yet to really feature for you guys. Uh, I, I've been kind of waiting to kind of feature this one, just mainly because I know there's a lot of decent teams. I was actually planning to actually build around this one as well. I was actually trying to build my own like Zamazenta team, but I just haven't really got around to it, and I don't think I'll be building it anytime soon, at least how it's going to look, at least anytime recently. So I figured I might as well feature it for you guys. If I do make my own team around in the future, I'll probably just feature it like again later on whenever Regulation G actually drops. So um, it's a really cool mod. It actually gets the defense boost on the way in. It, it's a plus one defense boost. Also gets another really cool moves like body press, coaching, wide guard, and a few other things. And uh, it's actually really... This is one of like a really good like I think it's a pro player team or like a top VGC player team. Antalanta, I think is their name. So uh, this team actually does have a pace as well. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to find it though. It's actually on the the Victory Road website. Where they have like a bunch of teams on there that have kind of been trying to get some teams from for you guys. It's mainly because it's like the only site that at least has some decent teams and some stuff that I haven't really featured for you guys yet. So uh, if you guys do want the pace, it should be on there. The rental code's up in the corner if you guys want to use this in-game. I don't know how long this team's gonna, really going to be up. Probably once Regulation G drops officially, they'll probably take down the code. So that's kind of why I'm not really going to put the paste or the make a big deal out of it. Because this team might not be active when Regulation G goes live. So, um, I'm going to kind of run through this team and then we're going to hop into some games. Looking to see how, how this team actually does. They also have the kind of a really cool team with the Solo Dondozo, which we'll talk about and stuff. So, uh, you have the Solo Dondozo with the Terra Bug. Uh, you got the Yawn, Bulldoze, Wave Crash, and Protect. More of a demand it kind of prevents setup. You're also able to get like really bulky Yawns off for switches, that type of thing, which is really good. And then you have the Bulldoze there, which is also kind of good for this team, just mainly for speed control. You can pair it alongside like the Dragonite and a few other things, kind of get some speed drops. You have the Ting Lu. Mainly, this is a thing you're going to be pairing alongside the Zamazenta. With its ability, it lowers the special type moves, like the attack of special moves, so it allows you to be a lot more bulky on the special side. And being that you get a plus one defense boost with Zamazenta anyways, it, it just makes you incredibly bulky and like allows you to step very, very easily, so it'd be kind of cool to try to use. There's also a really solid check to stuff like Calyrex that you can't really do much to, so it's kind of another thing for this team. Uh, you got the Zamazenta, just kind of your typical iron fit not, not really iron defense but it does get iron defense this one doesn't have iron defense but it has uh the wide guard body press body press still gonna hit really hard because you do get a plus one defense boost on the way in when you do send this thing out so that could be pretty good and you got the iron head there for stuff like flutter man just more of like the fairies i got the miracle seed offensive rillaboom can kind of catch some people off guard kind of more of a unique set and you got the focus sash gem pal with the stellar terra and the AV Dragonite, which kind of slots in really well on this team. More of actually a supportive, like, kind of more of a weird set on the Dragonite. I haven't really seen scale shot on Dragonite, especially with no loaded dice. I think it's just mainly there for the speed boost. To get the speed up could be pretty good. Then you got the Breaking Swipe and the Terra Blast Flying, which is kind of cool. So, I have not, it's kind of a really unique Dragonite set, which is kind of interesting. I'm kind of hoping to really use. So, without further ado, let's hop in some games with this team. All right, we're here with the game. My opponent's actually running, uh, it looks to be like a really bulky Trick Room team with a bunch of other really cool stuff. So he actually has some uh, really cool stuff on his team. He has the Lunala Raging Bolt. I think that's Iron Thorns. I think that's what that is. I haven't seen that thing in forever. Uh, Torkoal, Gallade, and uh, Lurantis. So some contrary shit is about to happen here as well. I'm not sure, does Lunala actually get skill swap? Because that could be kind of scary. I'm not sure. Uh, what do I want to bring here? I definitely want to bring Ting Lu. Ting Lu is like a must bring here. It's really, really good into his team. Ting Lu is really good. I think actually why it's lead Ting Lu, Zamazenta. My opponents are actually really weak to Zamazenta. I mean, I can't really do much to a lot of his stuff on his team, but like 
I guess the Lunala, but like the rest of the stuff I can kind of do some decent damage to. Especially if I can get the plus one defense boost. What else do I want to bring here? Don Dozo doesn't look too bad here either. I think I'm better off. I think I just bring the Chen Pao in the back though. I think that's pretty good. And I think Dragonite here is like my last spawn is pretty solid. It's mainly for priority because if he has Trick Room and he does get the Trick Room up, I want to have some way to kind of be able to either stall it out or kind of play around it, which is kind of one of the things I need for this match. If you guys like the videos, leave a like, subscribe, share the video. For some reason, like over like 90% of you guys that watch these videos are not subs. If you are new and you haven't subbed yet, feel free to sub. It really helps on the channel. You guys are missing out on a ton of content. Especially with Regulation G dropping here in a few weeks, officially on the rank ladder. So he leads with this. That's actually pretty good for me. He has the Lunala and the, uh, the Lorantis. So is this skill swap shit? Is that what we're about to get here? Is we're about to get some skill swap garbage? I don't know. I'm going to go for Taunt. I'm going to go for Taunt on the Lunala here. I think we're about to get skill swap cheese. And that's what's going to go on right now. I have Behemoth Bash too, which is actually, if you guys know, it's a pretty much a 100 base power uh, steel move. Which is pretty good. So I got my defense boost too. I could actually just start going for coaching. But I don't know if that really does much on the... On the Tinglu here. I don't know if that really benefits very much. I don't know. I think I just Behemoth Bash here and just go, on, go after the Lorantis. Just goes for Protect, okay. Should have, I think he's probably going to try to sub Trick Room, actually. That's what he's going to try to do here. I wish I would have went for Snarl. Snarl would have been good because he wouldn't have got his special attack boost, but... I got the Taunt off, so that's even better. That way he's not able to sub Trick Room, which he does try to do, so huge play. I made the right play anyways. I, I take that back. If I would have went for Snarl, I don't think it would have one shot. I mean, we got Trick Room up for free, so... I'm just going to Sand Tomb here. I'm going to Sand Tomb the... Uh, Lunala in. I don't know what the Lunala really even does to me that much here. And then I think I'm going to go for Behemoth Bash. I don't know what actually does more, like Behemoth Bash or uh, Iron or uh, Body Press here. Goes into Torkoal, that's fine. You're going to be getting Sand Tombed. I have Wide Guard for him as well, which he does not know. That does a solid amount of damage. Sand Tomb does a decent amount. Just mainly to try kind of trap him in. That's kind of what it's really for. He has Solar Blade. Oh, he actually made a crazy play. What a play. So he's actually a physical Lorantis. I'm dead. I live. I live barely. I don't know. I might actually need to burn Terra here. I mean, I have wide guards, so I'm not really too afraid of the Torkoal here. Like, I don't know what the fuck he's really going to do to me. I just don't want to really go for, like, Snarl, because then I'll be giving boost to the, the Lorantis. That's kind of the main thing. I don't know, I could just go for Runesh. I'm just going to go for Sand Tomb here, actually. I'll go for Sand Tomb, that way he just takes constant damage. And then, actually, do I want to Terra here? I think I'm going to go I could go Terra Water, but that doesn't do much for me, actually. That's actually kind of bad. Doesn't really do much for me here. I'm gonna snarl. I'm gonna snarl, and then I, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna wide guard. I think he's if he's running a like, like a physical Lorantis, that's fine. I don't know if he if he has a Leaf Storm. If he does, it's not gonna do that much damage anyway, so I don't really care. He's supposed for superpower. Show me eruption. Heat wave, oh that's perfect. That's great. I don't even know if I'm really scared of heat wave because like him being at minus one, like it's he's not gonna be doing that much damage to me anyways here. So I'm just gonna go for snarl again. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna go for a. Uh, or does, does body press? I, I think body press still does a shit ton of damage. I'm gonna see how much a body press does. It just takes him out, okay. That's even a plus one defense. Goodbye. Didn't think it was gonna do that much. 
Go for the Snarl here. If he has Heat Wave, like, it's not gonna do that much. He's at minus two already, so... Here's the Heat Wave. I, I live. No burn. My opponent's in a really bad spot because, like, he his team really relies on Trick Room there. And, like, that turn one taunt from the Ting Lu kind of, like, threw a wrench into, like, all his plans. Because now, like, two of his main Trick Room sweepers are gone, pretty much. So he's down to the Lunala and, like, one other thing. Here comes the Lunala again. So I can just go for Taunt on you. If you want to step Trick Room, like, I just Taunt him. I go for Taunt here, and then I just take out the Torkoal on this turn. The Body Press. I'm not scared of the Lunala at all. I don't I don't give a shit what it really does. I have Chim Pao in the back, and I have Dragon in the back, too, which are pretty good into it, so... Goes for Moon Geist Beam. How much is this going to do to me? Takes me out, but... I don't know. That means he has no Trick Room up either, so... And no Meteor Beam. So he's not running like a Meteor Beam. So he's running like Trick Room with like Moon Geist Beam, which is kind of interesting. Going to the Chim Pao here. Now what I can actually do here is like... I don't really even need the Zamazenta. Let's see what his last one is. Yeah, it's the Raging Bolt, so... I can actually go for Coaching. Coaching can actually be really, really good here. Because I'm Focus Sash, like, he can't one-shot me with anything. I could actually just go for Sucker Punch here and go for, into, like, a Coaching Sucker Punch. Because he hasn't went for Terra here, either. He could go Terra on this turn, which he might do. I don't know. I think it's Icicle. I'm going to go for Icicle Crash here. I'm going to go for Icicle Crash, and I'm actually going to Coaching here. If he goes Terra Fairy, like, I sh with a coaching boost, I should be able to get a 1 kill. He has to be, like, Terra Water to, to dodge this. And I think he's, if he Terra's, he Terra's Lunala, which he does. He goes Terra, what is that, Terra Normal? So Terra Normal, that's to dodge Calyrex, that's what that is. That actually, all that really does actually makes him weak. It makes him weak to, to body press, so I'm fine with that. Icicle Crash just one-shots him. I'm going to get a coaching boost off here, but I don't know if it really matters that much, because I think I'm probably dead. Actually, it actually does matter, because he has Trick Room up now, so I, j I can just spam Sucker Punch. I spam Sucker Punch, and like I just keep going for coaching over and over, so v protects. Then I just get another boost. It's going to be a point where I just one-shot him with a Sucker Punch. That's what I do here. I just keep spamming coaching. So that actually does nothing. That actually does nothing. He does have Meteor Beam. Does he have a Power Herb, though? Does, so... I thought that would do a lot more. I really, he gets the crit, the crit doesn't matter. I thought that would do a lot more, and that was even at plus one. I think that's because of the charisma armor or whatever. Coaching does not, I wish I should have just went for body press if I'm being real. I, don't know, I thought it, it would do a lot more to him, that's why I kind of figured I might as well go for coaching because I think he maybe want to try to stall me out for some reason. Or try to play around the sucker punch. I don't know, I'm just gonna e-speed here. I don't think it really pays going for a Terra. It's gonna go for body press. E-speed for damage. I don't think he has anything to really one-shot him, even at plus one. Plus one, I eat that pretty well. Goodbye, get out of here. Solid game. Solid 3-0. Played really well. That I think that turn one taunt from the Ting Lu there kind of just really shut my opponent down. Him having no trick room kind of really shut his team down. Okay, he was really banking on getting that up, and if he, did, he never did, he didn't really have much ways to really kind of play around it. Not bad. Really solid game number one. I really like this team. This team plays really well. Feels really nice to play. A lot of options, a lot of really cool stuff you can do. Really liking this team, so I'll top in another game. Alright, we're here with another game. We're going against a Calyrex Ice team, so... 
This could be kind of a problem because like he does have the Tornadus, which is good into the Zamazenta and a, f and a few other things here. I still kind of want to bring the Zamazenta though because I think it's still pretty good into him. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring Don Dozo. I think the Don Dozo is on this team for Calyrex Shadow Rider. I think that's kind of one, one of the checks. I think that's kind of why it's on this team. So I'm going to try to bring the here. And if he, he can just, I can just freely yawn him pretty much. It's kind of what it really wants to do. I'm just kind of yawn freely. Put it, make him switch out and kind of shut him down that way. And then I'm actually going to bring the Zombies into here. If he leads Nine Tails, I can get a super effective Behemoth Bash off or like force a Terra out of him on turn one. I would also want to bring Chimp Howl. So it looks pretty good here. Bring the Chimp Howl. On my last mod, I'm kind of up in the air for my last mod because, like, my last three mods kind of have a really bad matchup into, like, everything on his team. I think if I have to choose, like, I guess Dragonite because it hits, like, three things on his team for super effective damage with flying type moves. So, I guess that's my last mod. The Rillaboom's okay in doing, but, like, being that he has Tylerex and a bunch of ice types and, like, a f flying type of his own, I don't think it's the greatest. Needs a moon gear. That's good. Kind of shitty thing is, like, I, I can't really do much to the Amoongus here, and he can kind of put me to sleep freely. Just kind of bad, but I think what I do here is I'm just gonna go for Yawn. Like, I'm gonna go for Yawn. It's on onto the Amoongus because I think he's gonna go for Rage Powder here. If he doesn't Rage Powder, I'll go for he Behemoth Bash. But I think he just Rage Powders here. Yeah, that or he goes for Spore because he knows he can probably tank anything here. Like, I, there's nothing I can do that one shots him. I don't really want to switch either because I'll lose my defense boost, so I kind of want to see what he wants to do if, in case I really need to switch. I hit the Behemoth Bash off. How much does this do? That does over half. That, that's a, gonna be a roll whether that's a 2 KO or not. I get the Yawn off. High horsepower. That does a solid amount of damage. He goes for Spore. That sucks. I mean, I force him to switch now, though, so I can just keep going for Spore or uh, for Yawn. Just keep forcing switches. Dozo's just over here eating it up. And I just go for Yawn here. I go for Yawn. I, I just stay in and I try to go for Behemoth Bash again. I think he either he probably switches here or he just stays in and goes for Rage Powder. A switch, okay. I think the good thing here is too, like the the Calyrex can't really do much to me. Like it has probably Glacial Lance and uh, high horsepower, so it's gonna Terra here. What do you Terra Water? Terra Water. So I'm glad I never went for Wave Crash because I would have did no damage. I'd rather have a Yawn force him out. Still asleep. He doesn't really have much for like Zamazenta either. Like, he can keep me to sleep and everything, like, Tornadus is probably like, his best check to the Zamazenta, but, like, I have Wide Guard. So if he only has Bleak Wind Storm, he actually has Trick Room, that's scary. It's a problem. I also have Wide Guard, too, which, like, shuts down, like, a lot of stuff on his team. Like, looking at his team, like, he has a lot of stuff that... I mean, I guess mainly the... The Calyrex, and I guess the... The Tornadus, but he, he might have Blizzard on the... The Nine Tails too, if he brought that. This thing's Terra Bug. I don't know if I really want to go for Terra Bug here. I kind of just want to get the Tornadus out of here, if I'm being real. That's kind of what I really want to do. I'm just going to go attack the Tornadus here. If I wake up, I'm going to try to Wide Guard, because I think he's going to start going for Bleak Wind Storm. Haunt. Oh, that's why he brought the Tornadus in. I'm, I'm glad I went for damage. High horsepower. That actually does a solid amount of damage. Wow. 
based on a crit. I don't know how much the crit really mattered, though. I think it still probably would have got to it killed. I forgot. He never switched either, so he, he's asleep now. That's great. That is great. I'm just going to go for wave, wave crash again. Now I can start actually going to make an offensive plays here, too, if I really want to. Because a wave crash will probably take out the Thunderous from this range. I can actually go for coaching here if I really wanted to, just to boost my defense. He doesn't really have much for Zamazen to, like, it. I guess high horsepower if he wakes up, but, like, he just keeps putting me to sleep. Like, that's his best thing. He has Leer, okay. I don't really care. Wave crash should easily take you out. Yeah, he lives. So I got a low roll. Oh, that's great. Still asleep. I'm still asleep. So this tornado is running Leer, Taunt. What do you have? Like Tailwind and Bleak Windstorm. So I, I think I should on this turn. I actually go for, just go for the. I go for Wide Guard here to block Leer. I think that also blocks Leer, doesn't it? Or status moves. I'm pretty sure it does. Pretty sure it blocks status. Yeah, I think it does. There it is. It actually does. I forgot if it did or not. So that's good to know. What he's trying to do is he's trying to leer me down so like a glacial lance will kill me because he didn't know I had wide guard up until this point. But like now he's not going to be able to anymore because he's gone. I think he's running out or turn to trick room too. His trick room turns are running out here. Getting a bunch of free health back. He can't taunt me either as well, so I can just keep on putting shit to sleep too. It's gonna be one hell of a match, y'all. It's gonna be one of those longer games that's gonna go down to the wire. That's just how this match is going. I don't know, it's yawn here. I kinda wanna switch the, the Zamazenta out. But like at the same time, I don't want anything else on this team really taking damage. And if I give him a free boost for whatever reason, that's going to be really bad. So I think I'm better off just trying to go for damage on the Calyrex here. Goes for Spore because he has Trick Room still, which I forgot about. He does not want to deal with the Zamazenta. Like, he is really scared of it. And if I were him, I would actually just get rid of the Don Dozo. I think the Don Dozo is actually more of a threat because I can just able to put stuff to sleep. I don't know why he's not targeting down the Dozo a lot more. I could wave crash here again. I think he just tries to put me to sleep again. I'm just going to wave crash for damage. And if I can somehow wake up, I'm going to try to go for wide guard. Just try to get myself awake. The problem I'm going to have is like he's just going to keep on resetting trick room. Like that's the problem I'm going to have here. I get the first turn wake up though, so that's huge. I'm hoping he stays asleep one more turn. horsepower. He just wants the zombie. He actually gets a high roll there. That does a lot more damage. That might just be because of the fence drop, I guess, too. So he has no trick room here, either. Because he, he didn't think I was going to wake up on first turn, so... Amoongus is asleep now, too. That's great. It's so good. I have, a, I have two plays here I can make, actually. Like, I, I'm going to go for Brick for uh, Yawn again, if I somehow wake up. I can either go for Coaching on the Dozo to try to buff my stats. Like, what else does he have in the back? He probably has... I don't know, he either has Rillaboom or he has Ninetales in the back, I'm assuming. I don't think... He doesn't have Tornadus anymore. That's gone. I'm assuming probably what he brought. I don't know if he brought Pine Shell. If he did, it doesn't really do much versus me. I think I'm actually going to go for Coaching here onto the Dozo. Because, like, the Calyrex doesn't have shit for the Dozo at all.
especially glacial glacial lands. I mean, I guess I could have went for wide guard there, but that was a 50-50 play. Like, I, I didn't expect him to go for glacial lands there. I really did not, because he knew I had wide guard, so he would have got his, like, an entire turn negated there if I would have went for wide guard. So that was really ballsy of him. Really ballsy play. I don't know, I kind of wanted to come in and just start doing damage. I really do. I just want to come in and start, like, putting on really huge amounts of offensive pressure here. I could actually just switch the Dozo out here too, but I, like, I just gave myself a defense boost, so I don't really want to. I could Bulldoze. I don't think Bulldoze is really the best though, because he has Trick Room, so I'm just going to yawn again. I'm going to go Terra Flying here. It sounds crazy, but like I, I want to go Terra Flying just mainly to get the, the Terra Blast. Actually, I could for, go for Breaking Swipe too. I don't, if the Calyrex lives here, like that's the problem. If it, if it lives, I'm going to be in a really bad spot, because he's going to get a, another free boost. I'm hoping this Tariff Blast flying from this range gets a kill, because if it does not, I'm going to be in a really bad spot. I might actually just get swept by Calyrex. Needs to get the kill. Moment of truth. I lives on one health. Oh, I'm dead. I am so fucking dead. I get swept. Now I get swept. Oh, he just sets up Trick Room. Whatever, that's fine. That's fine. He just threw. He just threw the through the the turn. I he doesn't know that I have E speed. E speed from this range takes him out. So that's fine. I don't care. Well, I thought it was. Yeah, I think if he went off went for Glacial Lands there, he would have had a chance to sweep. He would have had a chance to sweep. He would have been the Don Dozo versus his entire team, and I would have lost. Wow, what a turn that was. I'm just going to protect here, and then I'm going to E-speed on this turn. Oh, yeah, he, he has protect, so he's trying to make it so as Amoongus wakes up and he puts me to sleep. That's what he's trying to do. I mean, I technically he can still sweep me here, because like, if he does wake up on this turn, if he puts the Dragonite to sleep and I'm not able to E-speed him, then I'm, I still get destroyed, so... Oh, he has Pollen Puff. But it doesn't go through Protect, you dummy. You dummy, I don't know, he, he must not have knew that. Pollen Puff does not go through your own Protect. Wow, what a choke. He just misplayed big time there. Huge misplay. Let's go for Yawn. I go for Yawn here and let's go for E-Speed. Oh, Rage Powder. Oh, that's bad. I forgot about Rage Powder. Why I fucking hate going against Calyrex. Fucking hate going against it. It's such a fucking AIDS mod to play against. One little thing. If you fuck up one turn, it just fucking sweeps. I have unaware though, so that like even if I'm getting like boost here, like it doesn't matter. So like at least at the very least, the the Don Dozo can kind of stick around on the field. Uh, it, it, it's, it's coming down to where like it's going to be Don Dozo versus like, his entire team, though. That's the problem I'm going to have here. Like, I, I got the yawn onto him, I think, so... He, he's either forced to switch here or he goes to sleep, so... I'm going to go for the double protect here. Either he switches out or he goes to sleep. I need the Amoongus to, to go to bed. That's what I got to do here. I'm going to go for double protect. I don't know what his last mod is, unless he, he has, like, Mind Shell in the back, I'm assuming. Or Nine Tails. Best case scenario, it's probably Mind Shell, because I think the Mind Shell I probably deal with a lot easier. Double Protect here until the Moongus falls asleep. Rage Powder does not matter. It's one of me one of those matches. This match has been going forever already. 
one of these matches. I actually think what I actually do on this next turn is I actually kind of double into the Amoongus here. I kind of want to double into the Amoongus. Or actually just go for damage on the Amoongus here. I'm going to wave crash the Amoongus. It's at plus one, so I should do a decent amount of damage. And then, like, he's running out of Trick Room turns, too. He has one turn of Trick Room left. So if he protects on this next turn, then he just runs out of Trick Room, and I think he's dead anyways. So, like, he's forced to attack me here unless he switches out. Gonna switch, okay. Oh, he has nine tails. That's surprising. So no mind shell. Kind of bad for me though, because like that's kind of a threat to the the Chim Pao. Especially if he has like dazzling gleam, that could be a bit of a problem. Plus one wave crash. How much does do? Doesn't do nearly enough. It comes down to what I really want to go for a Terra on here as well, because if he has Freeze Dry, that could be a bit of a problem. I could go Terra Bug to prevent the Freeze Dry. Yeah, he's out of Trick Room turns here too, so... I think what I do here is I actually just double into the Ninetales on this turn. I could go Terra Bug. Or actually, I actually wasted my Terra. I forgot I don't have a Terra anymore. Terra's gone. I'm going to double into the Ninetales here. And then I'm just going to go for Icicle Crash to get the Amoongus out of here. It's not really the end of the world if he actually gets up Aurora Veil. It really ain't, because like his, his Calyrex is such low health anyways, to where like I can kind of just outspeed and take it out with a Sucker Punch. So. Like, there's no way he breaks through the Don Dozo. He does have Freeze Dry, but... Doesn't do nearly enough, I think, with the left... He gets the Freeze! The Clutch 10% chance to Freeze, wow. Will he win the game off of a freeze? I'm gonna be so pissed if he wins because of the fucking freeze. I'm gonna be so fucking mad if he wins because of the freeze. I still have my sash intact here too, so like, if he wants to protect, like, go ahead, go ahead he can protect here. I just wave crash again. Actually, I'm going to try to protect on this turn. I'm going to protect here, and then I'm just going to go for a Sacred Sword onto the Calyrex. If he protects, that's fine. He probably just goes for Moonblast into the Chimpao. Slaughter just goes for a... I get the Thaw. That's huge. Wow, that's huge. That is really lucky. If I would have stayed frozen, that we maybe would have lost. So he protects here. So I think he's probably either has Dazzling Gleam or Moonblast here. Best case scenario, he actually targets down the Don Dozo and I get negated damage here, so he kind of just trade protects. He doesn't though, he brings me down to Sash. I think what I'm actually gonna do here, I'm actually gonna go for Boulders. I'm gonna go for Boulders on this turn and I'm gonna protect. Bulldoze from this range will take out the Calyrex. And then I want to try to make it a 2v1. If I can make it a 2v1, I can still win. Because I, I don't think a freeze drive from this range can actually take me out. It's going to be, it's going to need like a, a max high roll to actually get, get a kill from this range. And he goes for Moonblast, so that's perfect. That's great. Go for Bulldoze. The Calyrex is out of here. You have one health, you're gone. Speed drop too. That, that actually might matter because actually the the Don Dozo can outspeed him at minus one, so that also kind of matters. Like I just keep getting leftovers back too, so now I'm back up into green. It's gonna be a really close match. I, I guess if I really wanted to secure the match here, I just go for a yawn. That's what I could do here. And I'm just gonna go for wave crash. I think that's my play. Actually, I just go for Yawn. I'm gonna go for Yawn. I'm gonna go for Yawn, because I want to try to secure the game. And then I'll Sacred Sword. I 
because I don't think he has Dazzling Gleam. He's running Moonblast. He has Aurora Veil. That does not matter. It does not matter. I think it's a little bit too late to throw up the Aurora Veil, but I think if you wanted to throw that up, you should have threw that up a long time ago. And he loses his defense boost to this for the snow as well, so. What I do here is I just double attack. I double attack into him now. Kind of strange he still outspeeds me at plus one, or at minus one speed, but just surrenders. What a match. This match went down to a, a minute and a half left on the timer. What an absolute barn burner game. Got the dub. Back and forth, just duking it out. If you guys are here for some like crazy down to the wire classic matches, you, you guys have found the the right video, that's for sure. What a match. Really crazy match. That could have went anybody's game, especially with him getting a freeze there and a bunch of other crazy shit. Not bad. I'll see you guys in one more game. All right. You know, I actually haven't found that many teams on the ladder that actually are this use like an entire team of legendaries in, in quite a while, but we found it, found one. And I, I think the reason why is because we're finally into a restricted format, so like everybody's using legendaries anyways, usually at least one on their teams. So like an entire team of legendaries is a lot less common to run into on the ladder now. I don't know if that has to do with anything with like regulation G or like, I'm not sure if I just not have been getting like many people on the ladders running into them type of people, but point has the Mewtwo, Blood Moon, Ursaluna, or Shifu, uh, Arceus, Mariadon, and Kyogre. Holy shit, is this going to be a, a match? I think what I do here is I lead Zamazenta, Ting Lu, both really good into him. What else do I want to bring here? I, th I think the Chen Pao is really good into him. What else do I need here? I think the, the Rillaboom is also really good here. I'm going to bring that. It's mainly for the Mariadon. It's good into the Kyogre. The terrain passive healing could be pretty good. Priority to is not too bad versus them. We have a really solid matchup into his team, though. Like, it's going to be anybody's game. Normally, I hate going against like these entire sweaty people that run like entire teams of legends, but. It's Leeds, Ursa, Luna, Blood Moon. Or Shifu here, that's fine. I'm actually in a really good spot here because the Blood Moon is really like. It's, it can do super effective damage to the Zamazenta, but like it's reduced by the Ting Lu, so it's not going to do that much. So like, I just go for, for body press here. I go for body press and I get a Snarl on this turn. Just one, the crit one shots them, oh my gosh, get out of here. If I were him, I'm, I'm really mad. I am fuming. Getting critted turn one, oh that's bad. Sucks to be you, bud. Earth power, I eat that pretty well. Does a lot more than I thought it was going to do. That might actually be specs. Poor sap. Got created turn one. Now he's mad. He's gonna go right into the Arceus. He's like, he's done fucking around now. He's like, oh yeah, I'm done. I'm gonna go to the Arceus. Right, I'm just gonna go for, uh... I think he's at minus one now, isn't he? He's at my... He's not, because I... F I don't know, did he dodge the snarl? I think he do I thought he dodged. I thought he landed the snarl. I must have been not paying attention. He might have dodged the snarl. I don't know. I'm just gonna body press. Get this Ursa Luna out of here, and then I'm gonna go for snarl again. They're normal, but like I don't think you can one-shot anything on this on my team. Like he'll do a shit ton of the Ting Lu, but like I don't think he one-shot anything. Body press barely misses the KO. Oh, he has Earth Power. I live though. I'm tanking all these moves. I am tanking all this. Get the special attack drop. Get rid of the Blood Moon. So now it's a two v four. Doing really good. We're doing really really good. What do you have, Kyogre next? Right on, oh, that's perfect. That is so good. Ting Lu is so good in this guy's team. He is, he does not have much for Ting Lu at all. 
I, I'm terra water, so that doesn't really help me much here. I think I just go for body press onto the Arceus. If he doesn't have E-speed, I outspeed him and I do a shit ton of damage. And then I just go for Snarl again. It just gets the one hit KO. Another critical hit. That probably mattered, actually. It's an Arceus. Wow, that is that is two crits in a row to where I crit the guy's shit on his team. And he just gets one hit KO'd because of it. Really unlucky to be him. Sucks to be you, bro. Zamazenta, though, it, proving why it's the MVP. Not even bad. Snarl off. So now it's the point where like he's, I can just keep lowering his, his stuff over and over, like his stats over and over, and like he can't do anything about it, and he just surrenders. He, there's one of two things happen here. He either surrenders or he rage quits. And, like he has no terrain either. Like I don't know what he does to Rillaboom. I fake out here. And I go for Sand Tomb. He's going to stay though. He's going to stay in the match. He's actually Rocky Helmet Maridon. That's a new meta. I have never seen Rocky Helmet Maridon up until now. He gets the dodge. So there's some good luck back in his favor for the two crits I got, I guess. Wow, I've never seen Rocky Helmet Maridon. That's a brand new one. I have never seen that at all. Snarl. Metal sound, and he misses again. Sucks to be you, bro. That actually does a lot of damage. I forgot this Rillaboom is actually an offensive Rillaboom. With the, the Miracle Seed, so that's why it does so much. I think I just keep clicking Snarl over and over. He goes for Parabolic Charge. I don't know how much health that's going to get you back. That gives you 10 health. 10 health back. I think you're gone, bud. I don't know if I have Wood Hammer from this range. I'll get the KO, though. It actually does. That was a roll, whether I actually killed or not. Too bad. I, I really like this team. This team's really good. I, I really like this team. Has some really cool stuff on it, like the solo Don Dozo without the Tatsugiri as mean like a a check to stuff like Kyogre and uh Calyrex Ice, which is really good in like other stuff that wants to sit up on you, like Ter Terrapagos. It's really good into. Because you have unaware and you can't really take that much damage from it unless it's unless it, like it gets like a shit ton of damage on you for free for whatever reason, but like you have yawn. There's a lot a lot, bunch of other really cool stuff on this team. I think it's a really good team. Talk a little bit about the team. All right, as for this team, if you guys want a really, really good team, this actually might be a team that I would actually even take onto like the ranked ladder once Regulation G drops. I think this team's actually really, really good. It's actually one of like the better teams I've used and probably one of my favorite teams I've used for Regulation G so far. Really solid team. I have like no complaints with this team at all. A lot of really cool stuff on this team, but it also really works. Like the Don Dozo is pretty good. It's there to check a few certain things on like the stuff it does check. It does really well into and it kind of just shuts down whatever it checks like the I mean like Calyrex, Ice, and a few other things. The Ting Lu is really good, especially if your opponents don't have anything for it. Paired alongside like the Zamazenta or like a few other things on this team, it just kind of just wrecks. It allows the stuff to kind of either set up or get a bunch of free damage. The offensive Rillaboom really catches people off guard. A lot of people expect the Rillaboom to be more of like a defensive or supportive Rillaboom. The offensive Rillaboom works really well on this team. Especially with the, the terrain, being able to get rid of like electric terrain or psychic terrain for this team. Then you got your uh, Chimpow Dragonite. I haven't really used the Stellar Terra. That's the one thing I didn't really use. I kind of just opted to like Terra some other stuff on this team most of the time. Usually the Dragonite or even like the Zamazenta for like mainly defensive terrors and sometimes the Rillaboom for like an offensive Terra, but uh, not bad. Kind of more of a standard set. I think it's kind of usually like the same exact set I actually run apart from like Ice of Rash or run like Ice Spinner and like. Terra Ghost, but still really solid. And then you got the AV Dragonite, which just has a really cool set as well. The scale shot's pretty good just because you can get that plus one speed boost. And especially with like Terra Flying, it just hits so hard. Like if, if you're able to get that up for free and they don't really do much to you back, you're, you just outspeed pretty much everything. You're just hitting so, so hard, especially alongside like the Chen Pao. It's really, really good. So really solid team. If you guys want to use team rental hold up in the corner. Really, really good team. It's actually one of the only teams that I've actually went undefeated with as well. 
I actually played around, I think, like seven games. You guys probably seen like three or four games. I don't know if I'm going to include four games because we had one match that went like over 20 minutes in, in one of these matches. So I, I'm probably going to throw maybe like three into this video for you guys. But like including like the three or four testing games that I did, uh, like I, I, w I went undefeated with this team. There were some really close matches. I had a few 1-0s and some really close games. But like this is one of the only regulation G teams that like so far, even including my teams, even my teams I use personally, like the ones I built, I never even went like undefeated with. Like during the sessions, I've kind of used them early, even when I was testing them. Like this is one of the only teams I actually went undefeated with. I like the, the amount of games I actually played with it. So not bad. That's cool to show you how good of a team it actually is. If you if, if you know how to play it, like I think it's really good. If you have like no idea what you're doing, like you got to play it to kind of learn what the team really does. But well, this team kind of does fit my play style as well. It has like options for like everything. It has really good offensive options. If you want to play it like defensively, it has options for that as well. Like it has like, pretty much everything you kind of really need. So it kind of fits my play style really well. It's kind of another thing, I guess. Depends how you play. Like you might not like if you play like more high hyper offensive or more of like a stally play style. But I don't know. That's kind of what I like about the team as well. Really solid team. Like I said, if you guys want to use it, rental quote up in the corner. If you guys like the video, leave a like, subscribe, share the video. I'm going to get out of here. Hope you guys enjoy it. Got a bunch more stuff on the way. Got a f one or two of my teams on the way. I got a team around Mariah on that I'll be bringing you guys here in the next few days. And I also have a team up with Mewtwo that I'm currently building still. I got a few other things as well. So if you guys don't want to miss that, subscribe. I'm going to get out of here. Peace out, everybody.